Hi everyone. And yesterday, after sharing some of my older images in my stories, I got a request to share more of those types of photos, to which I replied that I'm simply following the flow of the energy, and I share what wants to be shared. And this has really been the intention with my Ava Soul project, is to just uh, go with my intuition, with my inner feeling, and not meddle <laughs> in it with my brain, but simply do what I feel like I need to do and share what I feel like I need to share. And all of the images, videos, everything that I create, it's born of the spontaneous feeling that wants to be expressed. Taking of pictures yesterday, I had more insights into feminine energy and the flow. And I feel like so much of our natural expression has been suppressed by certain ideas of how we should be. And so many of our parts have been disowned in childhood because they were considered inappropriate, um, not good enough, too different, too weird. So in this space that I've created for myself in my world, I wanted to see what will happen if I give complete natural expression to what I feel and go about it intuitively instead of uh, doing what I feel like I should be doing, what everybody else is doing, what reason tells me or the rules of how you're supposed to do this. So all my photos have been completely spontaneous. So I've just felt them like this and I've created them as they wanted to be created. And um, here I'm going to share with you something that uh, I was reading just now, which totally makes sense. And I think it really represents uh, what I have been trying to express, so which would be my natural feminine energy that uh, has been so deeply buried within that I even didn't know consciously what it is. So this is a little excerpt from a book called Eating in the Light of the Moon by Anita Johnson. A long time ago, the experience of women on this earth for thousands and thousands of years was very different than it is today. In their world, that which was female and all its manifestations was honored and revered. The female side of God, in the form of the goddess, was worshipped. The spirit of the feminine was recognized as the creative life force of the earth. Its symbol was the circle, a shape that has no beginning and no end. That which was round or curved was considered beautiful, the shape of the earth, an egg, the naturally rounded curved shape of a woman's body. That which moved in cycles was respected and honored as the source of wisdom. The seasons, the moon phases, the ebb and flow of the tides, the natural life-death rebirth cycle were looked to for the answers of the mysteries of life. Women's wisdom gained from their natural connection to nature through their menstrual cycle was revered. Women were respected for the power of their intuition and their understanding of the earth's ways. This wisdom was passed on from woman to woman, from mother to daughter for thousands of years. Time passed and things changed. A new way of perceiving the world came into being. The line came to be considered superior to the circle. A hierarchy developed. What was made by man was considered superior to what was made by nature. The circle was removed from a position of reverence and replaced by the symbol of the line, which had a beginning and an end, a top and a bottom, a superior position and an inferior position and all things came to be valued according to their position. Those on top had more power than those on the bottom. The goddess was banished. Only the male side of God was allowed to be worshipped. The earth was no longer viewed as the sacred source of all creation. It became an object to be divided up into many square pieces for those men with the most power to own and use. Women's connection to the wisdom of the earth through her body and the cycles of nature was rejected. 
the power of her intuition and emotions was ridiculed. Women who taught the way of the circle, who used their connection to the earth for healing, who celebrated the feminine spirit, were imprisoned or killed. Generation after generation after generation watched their mothers and sisters burn at the stake for celebrating and embracing their feminine power. More time passed and little changed. Well, luckily, a lot more is changing now. And all of us are starting to remember the feminine and its ways, so whether we are men or women. And I feel like this the project of mine has been um, about reconnecting with my feminine side and sharing with whoever else recognized as I have been descending in that journey back to my true self um, and wholeness, uh, recognizing, honoring and revering the masculine and the feminine within, not as I was taught um, that they are, but as I naturally feel them inside of myself to be. So thank you for being along uh, on that spiraling journey with me.